everyone. My name is Matson. I'm with Rogistic. This is our new X-Brace, and we'll be doing an X-Brace install today. But first, let's go remove the last version, and I'll show you some of the differences. All right, so here is our previous generation of X-Brace. That's a fantastic X-Brace. It's been on our car for at least a dozen races, multiple track days. The biggest differences are is that this is stainless steel and this is aluminum, first of all. This older version has is actually a multi-piece construction. So you basically have to bolt these three different, four different pieces together to make the center section. Whereas our new X-Brace is all one piece and has extra bracing uh, just to keep it all nice and strong has three removable landing points, which is awesome because whenever you need to do maintenance on the car, oil change, whatever it is, you can remove that center section out just by itself and then you know do what you need to do, put it right back on without ever having to loosen up your front control arms or your steering rack. And then previously on E30s, you'd have to run a little spacer underneath this guy in order to bench it down a little bit. The new ones have an integrated spacer in there which you can use on E30s or remove for an E36. So it gives you the options, you know, you could always reuse it, um, but you basically just take that spacer off, put this on there, and then you can throw it onto your E36. All right, so for installing these X braces, uh, super simple. They mount in three different locations. You're gonna start with the front subframe location. Go ahead and pull the two bolts out. They are held in with a nut on top. Pull those out, you're gonna slap your X-Brace up on there, tighten them, but not fully. You leave the X-Brace the ability to pitch forward and backwards. And then once that is all, you know, kind of bolted up, you can go ahead and start to go to your front control arm mounts. They're just gonna be two bolts each. Go ahead and put two of them in. And if you're looking on the, on the far side, the one that you haven't done yet, and it looks like the, the bolt hole is off, go ahead and tighten the one side fully. Once you tighten it fully, everything will kind of shift in the way, the direction that this needs one on the far side. You're gonna tighten everything up and we made it super convenient for you. On the bottom of the landing plates, you'll actually see the torque spec for that specific bolt. All right, so now that you have it installed, you have a stronger, lighter weight and more low profile X-Brace than ever before. But if you have any questions on the install, feel free to shoot us an email, support at garagesick.com. And if you can drop a like, comment and subscribe, that would be awesome. Hope you have a great rest of your day and take it easy. Hey everyone, this is Matt. I'm Matt. <laughs> Gibbs a little off. Good, 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 good. All right, all right, all right. All right. You're ready, you're ready. All right. Good. We're on set. You're good. Or give us a call, 714-639-2762. Damn, I <laughs> that up. You need to do it. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah.